Doug with obdgenie.com. Today we're in the Ram truck. We just successfully upgraded the infotainment system um, from the smaller RA1 or RA2 to the nice big 8.4 inch screen. Um, in this particular scenario, we also want to have the automatic climate control, right? Um, as you can see here, after the install, um, using our factory bezel upgrade, um, you can control the fan and everything through here. Um, everything works as designed, but it's missing the automatic temperature control. So even though I have the bezel here, you press the button, it doesn't reflect that. And it also doesn't also have the auto button up here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how the OBD Genie programmers work. We're going to send two of them. You have an ATC first and second. And what you do is you install it into the OBD2 port to have the auto button not only on the screen but also make it active on the bezel itself. Uh, you just need to install the temperature sensor right here under the knee bolster and the driver side panel here. And then we're going to have a connector that will plug into here. And then it will also plug into our six pin Molex connector on the, um, our upgrade parts. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in our first programmer. It'll be labeled number one. You're going to see a series of lights. As soon as you get the solid green light, you can remove it. Then what we suggest you to do is remove the key to shut the vehicle off, um, open your door, let it sit for a minute or two, and then start it back up. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle up. All right, now you'll notice the auto button and you'll notice the driver's side and passenger side. Now, since we're not changing it to a dual zone automatic temperature control, because that would require a hell of a lot more parts, what we're gonna do is we wanna make it just the driver's side um, to be automatic to control both. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is plug in the second Genie Just like the first, we're going to wait for the green light. And remove it. Nothing will reflect on the screen yet. We're going to shut the vehicle off for another minute or two. Open the door, and then we'll retry. All right, so let's start it up for the last time. Give it a try here after a quick break. And now you'll notice the driver's side will have uh, the temperature. You'll be able to adjust that. But more importantly, you can press the auto button, not only on the screen, but if you do have the bezel with the auto button, it also works um, down here as well as up here. So now you have automatic temperature control. The sensor will do its job now um, in relation to the temperature. It'll automatically slow down the fan speed as you get warmer or cooler. So it's an awesome feature to have, especially if you're doing the upgrade um, from infotainment.com. But furthermore, what I wanted to mention was if you already have an 8.4 inch screen and you only have the off button here, you can still do this upgrade. It will require a different harness, uh, which we will have on our website here shortly, um, but it will also allow you to do that as well. And the other thing I wanted to point out um, if you do the upgrade from infotainment and you get the bezel with the off button and um, you don't necessarily care about maybe automatic temperature control now but you want to do it in the future our upgrade at obd genie alongside infotainment.com uh, will allow you to have the auto button on screen you don't necessarily need it on your bezel but it still works uh, on the screen so thanks for watching come check us out at obdgenie.com and also infotainment.com's ram upgrade Thanks for watching.